So today I'm going to be giving y'all the best jump shot for every single height in NBA 2K24. It doesn't matter what height your build is, in this video there will be a jump shot that will work for you. And after I give y'all the best jump shot for every single height, later in the video I'm going to be explaining how jump shot release cues work and how to time each jump shot release cue. Now tomorrow I have another video coming out on the best tips to make every single shot. And in that video there's going to be 10 plus tips to help you green more shots. So make sure you turn on notice to be notified whenever that video goes up. But without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So the first jump shot we're going to go over is the best jump shot for 5 foot 7 to 6 foot 4 builds. And that jump shot is base Stephen Curry, release 1 Oscar Robertson, and release 2 Terrence Mann. As you can see, the grades on the jump shot are really good. A release height, A plus speed, A minus immunity, and B plus stability. And you also only need a 90 plus 3 point shot, which most small guard builds should have way more than that. And then speed, you want to go max, and blending, you want to go 60, 40. Now for 6 foot 5 to 6 foot 9 builds, I'm going to be going over 3 different jump shots. The first one is going to be for six five to six foot nine guards with a low three pointer the second one is going to be for six foot five to six foot nine guards with a higher three pointer and the last one is going to be for six foot five to six foot nine spot up builds the first jump shot we're going to go over is six five to six foot nine guards with a low three pointer you want to go base kyle kuzma release one josh richardson release two sadiq bay and then you want to go max speed now blending you want to go 43 57 and when you take a look at the grades it's really nothing special i mean you can't really complain this build only has a 78 three ball it's about the best you're going to get in this jump shot is very very smooth now the next jump shot is for six foot five to six foot nine guards with the higher three-pointer or mid-range and that jump shot is base torian prince release one oscar robertson release two sadiq bay you want to go max speed and then the blending you want to go 50 50 now the grades on the jump shot aren't really anything special you get an a release height a plus speed c plus immunity and a c minus stability but this year in my opinion the feel of your jump shot matters way more than the grades and finally for six five to six foot nine spot up builds you want to go base jt thor release one oscar robertson and release to Sadiq Bay. Release speed, you want to go max, and then blending, you want to go 54 46. And the grades on the jump shot are really solid for the three point rating. And believe it or not, I've been using this jump shot since day one of NBA 2K24, and it has not disappointed me one time. It's just so easy to time, it's smooth, it's really a good jump shot. And finally, the best jump shot for six foot 10 to seven foot three builds is base Jonathan Isaac, release one DeMontis Sabonis, and release two Dayron Sharp. Now, for the speed on the jump shot, you either want to go two out of three or three out of three. Me personally, I go with 3 out of 3 so I can get the fastest jump shot possible, but it's really up to you. And for the blending, you want to go 58-42. Now, if your 3-pointer is like too low and you can't get the 58-42 version, you can play around with the grades until you can actually use this jump shot. The next thing that we're going to do is explain shot time and visual cue. Now, if you don't already know what this is, basically shot timing visual cue is you get to pick where you release your jump shot. So for example, if you use push timing, what you want to do is you want to release your jump shot whenever your my player is about to push the ball. A jump and release is pretty self-explanatory, but when you want to release the set point option, it's whenever the ball reaches its peak at the top of your head. Now, in my opinion, the best jump shot visual cue is push, and that's what I use on every single one of my jump shots. A lot of y'all might be wondering, if you pick the jump shot timing visual cue, does it make your jump shot faster? The answer is yes, but it's really not that big of a difference. It's also not as consistent as some of the other options, so I still recommend going push. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the video. I appreciate y'all for watching this video all the way through. If y'all got any questions make sure to let me know down below in the comments also make sure to turn on noties because like i said i have a video coming out tomorrow about the best tips to make every single shot but yeah that's pretty much it and i'm gonna catch you on the next video